Hey everybody, Gravy Train here with another episode of Gravy Training. So this one is the new Monkey King release. Um, I am pretty darn excited about this hero. Um, I especially like the folklore. I don't know if, if you guys have seen where the, any of the movies or stories that this is based off of. There's been a number of different movie series, um, there has been cartoons and remakes of the movie and blah, 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 blah. I don't know if this comes purely from cinema and all that first or, or comic or something like that, or if this actually comes from uh, Chinese folklore to begin with, but um, it is the story from A Journey to the West as well as the Monkey King. Journey to the West 1 and 2, Monkey King 1, 2, and 3. Um, same genre as um, Jin Lee comes from, etc. Like, uh, all of the, the same kind of story, same type of story. And, yeah, it's kind of cool with how they incorporated the hero. I mean, basically, the Monkey King has two companions in the Monkey King story, or three companions, one of them is a Buddhist monk, and that's why they released or like mentioned that his story included Sifu. He has a pig demon, which is why they included Pygnius, and they didn't include a fish demon, which they could probably make an orca hero, maybe? Hmm. But, uh, anyhow, so, yeah, he, he's a... a like anti-hero demon that started out with the best of intentions and became corrupted and destroyed heaven and got sent back down and trapped in a in a cave for 500 years and blah 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 but badass story um but that that's not what you're here for is is not the folklore of this hero so anywho this is a legendary beast it's a warrior. Um, yeah, I've got him runed up right now, and, and, I, and I don't have necessarily the optimal runes on him. Uh, because I've, I've actually got the vast majority of my roster runed, and I have far fewer runes available. But I gave him the Chilling Festive, uh, the Guardian rune, um, a Tainted rune with Damage Pen, a Vampiric... Uh, just because he can survive a good bit, so that kind of ongoing healing, and it was like the only green rune I had left. And then a defensive rune, a healer rune, so the healing will kind of keep him going in between rounds. But as you'll see, he's got a good bit of survivability baked in. Um, plus, and let me filter this based off of beasts, of which he is one. You're going to team him, I mean, he's going to do really well team with Solaris. And I've been running beast teams for weeks now. Um, my defense right now is a beast team. I've been experimenting with beasts quite a bit, um, including, and, and I, it'll come to a surprise to many of you, uh, Julius has been on my defense for several weeks. Um, Gortusk, Kenny, has been on my, or like was on my defense for a little bit, and I've used him on offense. Bovis I was using. Jabber I was using. Um, and I'll, I'll kind of show why. Um, so one of the things that Solaris gets is allied beasts gain 20% hit points for each beast on the team. That's, I really need to clarify this. Um, it seems like that means that, I mean, it's phrased, the, the language says if there's four beasts on the team, they gain 80% hit points. The other ones, the other heroes are worded differently. Each beast gets 20%, blah, 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 or beasts get 20%. This one says for each beast on the team. And if it's not actually working that way, they need to either fix it or fix their wording. Because this is definitely saying that that is the case. Um, and they do, I, I kind of think that it's accurate. Because they get, when you stack beasts on a team with a couple of heroes that have, like, one, uh, two of them have 25%, hit points, etc. Like, it, it adds up fast, and, and these beasts become really tough. Um, and then, I mean, their health gets so high that it, it really offsets a lot of the chaos damage. 
So there's that. Um, and in addition to that, then, um, beasts get spirit and fire immune and take 20% reduced chaos damage. So combine that with um, Sun Wukong's stuff. Maybe you throw in Julius, who's going to give nature allies 15% health, 25% um, for all beasts. So that's another 25% on top of the either 20 or 80% that you're going to get with Solaris. Um, and then he gives you, well, one of his passives is beasts get 25% attack for each beast on the team. So that tells me that you're getting 80% attack. Once again, that could be wrong. But anyhow, so his passives, he has got armored. He's magical, takes less damage from non-physical attacks. Um, and that includes, like, chaos damage or whatever to begin with. He takes reduced damage from all non-chaos sources. He's immune to being stoned, burned, frozen, or shocked. That right there is great. Um, so against dragons, he's still going to take full damage, but that is non-physical damage. So he's going to take reduced damage from that, too. Um, so he's got a good bit of survivability, and he's armored to boot, so against non-chaos attacks, that's a bunch of extra damage resistance as well. So, so far, he's built to be able to take some punishment, and he, he really can, and you'll see more as we go along. So Beastly Vigor, that's what I was saying, allied beasts gain 20% attack for each beast on the team. Beasts start the dungeon with monkey business. Preventing the next next attack on the on the hero, on this hero, uh, it's actually on the hero that has the buff on them, and allowing Wukong clone to make a revenge attack. So what happens is they get attacked, a Wukong clone jumps in the way, takes the hit, and then does a revenge attack, which can trigger all the other beasts, follow-ups, and whatever else. Um, as well as, like, Pygmius with uh, revenge uh, extra attacks and stuff like that. I mean, all of the beast bonuses that we've completely forgotten are back. Monkey tricks. At the end of the round, a 30% chance to apply monkey business to an ally. They should just make that 100%, but whatever. So this is going to guarantee, like, it's going to have a 30% chance to work 60% of chance, 60 of the time. It works every time. 30% chance for it to work. It just the buff gets on there and then it works the next attack. In addition to that, body outside of body. So beast allies have a 20% surprise chance to be replaced by a Sun Wukong clone when attacked. So this is just, you're a beast, you have a chance to have this proc. And it's not a buff that can be interrupted or anything else. Like null magic won't stop this or anything else. And then the typical beast, better damage to ogres, chance to retaliate against another beast. So you're going to have potentially more follow-ups there. Um, which means that warrior runes on him are going to work pretty darn well, um, among other things. Because all those follow-up attacks and, and all that are going to trigger and trigger and trigger. Um, yeah, and with, with boosted attack and everything else. So right now, he would technically have actually about 18k or 18 about 19k attack just by virtue of the 80 percent like if you had him on a team with four beasts so you'd have yeah thir uh, 20k attack um right now with the multiplier you'd have 30 th or 30 33 34k defense um and his health between Solaris and if you've got, like, say, just Solaris and Julius on the team, he's going to have, what, that's 80 and another 25. So that's about, an, he's going to be at, like, 22k health. This is at, at five star without a bunch of health runes on him. He can You can get him, like, super high health. Decent crit chance, decent dodge chance, and that's going to increase. Um, damage pen... Light resist, etc., etc. So his abilities. So his basic attack. This is the only one that is not dodgeable, but an undodgeable melee physical attack for thousand base damage 
that applies off balance. So already he's going to work well with Arya, as much as I hate Arya for the uh, kind of weird balance that she has. But so, yeah, not only can he work with Arya well, but he can work against Arya well because he can always hit her. Um, next is Whirling Staff. The melee physical attack on all enemies for 2600 base damage. Applies monkey business to all allies once again, so he's going to jump in the way of that. And that's not shield piercing or anything else, although, well, actually, shield piercing will pierce monkey business because boss fight, uh, they don't like to code things properly. Um, preventing the next attack with a clone and retaliating if the clone survives. Um, next is headband trap. And, and all of these things are thematic to the character, too, which is kind of cool. Like, his staff is, is this massive, legendary weapon that was, like, holding the... Uh, plugging the sea from draining into the core of the earth. Like, just massive. His headband is used to kind of control him. Like, he starts getting out of hand. The monk can uh, chant, and it'll basically, uh, like, stop him from doing anything. Um, and then his, his cloud hop, he flies around on these wings, or these rings that uh, allow him to, to cloud hop effectively. So, I mean, it's just cool that they've actually kind of incorporated this much of the backstory of, of this particular character. I don't know if they're infringing on copyright or something, but who knows. Um, so, uh, Headband Trap is a ranged physical attack on a target enemy. This, if you're teamed with Dadai, is going to cause you perhaps to purge buffs. Uh, target is restrained, unable to act until Sun Wukong's next turn. So as long as they don't resist it, because this is one of the few things in the game right now that doesn't bypass immunity, um, you're going to basically completely immobilize or, or make it so that character can't do anything. Um, unable to act, they can't dodge, they can't anything. It's just like they're frozen or they're stoned or whatever, just without any of the bonuses for that. So that's pretty awesome, and it does good damage too. Um, and then Cloud Hop is a is awesome. It's a melee spirit attack on all enemies for twenty seven hundred base damage. Applies tranquility to all allies, gaining increased dodge chance and retaliation on dodge. So he's a, he's a light hero. You throw him out there with some assassins, Black Diamond. Um, Arya and like MK or Sifu. Sifu would be friggin' amazing with him. Um, or even like Jin. You throw him with a bunch of light heroes, assassins, light heroes. I mean, oof. Just friggin' sweet. So, yeah, that's what the hero is. So, let's go and try him in some battles. Yeah, see, this has been my defense. For quite a while now um and i mean it's not winning every battle but no defense is winning every battle right now so the the problem that wukong has is right here serenity i mean she's just a blight on the entire game she nerfs 90 percent of the heroes in the game um so don't even get me started on that um Nivius is for the most part balanced maybe a little too strong but just only by a little bit but no magic just is too much but anywho i digress um this is kind of a team that i've been using for this using their heroes against each other give it a try it's not four beasts i will do a four beast team before we are over but against the team that we're facing here i kind of want the um I kind of want to be able to just dispose of heroes quickly and and all of that. So that's where that should have technically blocked monkey business, but our monkey business should have blocked that. Um, so Lorelei hasn't gone yet, which means I can banish Serenity. Alright, so now I, I lost two of my heroes. That's where Solaris comes in. Perfect timing. 
then I can banish... Uh, I can banish Sybil, because Lorelei hasn't gone yet. Now I can make Lorelei kill, or I can make Nivius kill Lorelei. And now this this um, cage is not going to work this round because even if Lorelei wasn't here protecting him with flying, uh, he's debuff immune for the first round. So I am going to give an increased chance to dodge, do damage. All right, so that's a pretty defensive Nivius. All right, but that's okay because if I, uh, he should finish him off. Yep. So you didn't really get to see much of Wukong there, though. But I just used that to get rid of the the Serenity team. So let's see, what do we have? Dagon, Serenity's there. She goes first, so that'll be fine. So I'm going to throw some beasts in. So we'll pull these two. We will put in... Let's go with Lupina and Julius, who is where? There we go. Let's try this. Mind you, Lupina is going to be buffing attack by 25% on top of the 80% now for the attack from Wukong. All right, so... Epic attack. For decent damage. All these do a follow-up attack. Fine that she died. Alright, so there, right there, you can see that's monkey business. Monkey business again for Solaris. Well, already, just the monkey business has saved two heroes. So, let's try to kill him then. Alright, so, I, everybody's flying, I can't do that. I am going to do this one. So now they should all have monkey business again. Although it's not showing that they have my it's probably friggin' null magic. Hate null magic so much just ruins the friggin' game. At least in the quantities that it gets thrown around. If it was rare, it wouldn't matter, but. And I'll probably end up losing this, but it's a hell of a lot more interesting playing battles like this with heroes that everybody just, air quotes, knows can't win. That shouldn't have been possible. Although it actually helps me. But that's a spirit attack. That... I, <laughs> Oh, yeah, that shouldn't have been possible. Anywho, that's that's just boss fights. Terrible, terrible, terrible coding. And imagine that another Serenity defense. All right, let's let's look at that Serenity too. What is this one? No Serenity. All right, we're gonna try to. Oh no, it is Serenity. God damn it! All right, well if we're doing Serenity, I might as well go for top tier one. Alright, so let's try so, oops, some variations here. Um, a decent variation on this is to go uh, Solaris, go WK, um, we can just go Craw and Iraq. No, we'll go um, Although he isn't fully ruined. Uh, we'll go all Rackus Nidius.
This should provide quite a bit of survivability and damage and everything else. So, but once again, it's also reducing the health and the attack of both Wukong and Solaris. So. But being, I mean, look at that, just immune to, um, immune to lightning, monkey business coming in. Solaris is such a good tank nowadays. All right, we will do some Draconic Anger. Yeah, I mean, he can just soak up the hits. That shouldn't have been... Oh, yeah, whatever. The heroes that do more than they should be able to. Whatever. There's a winning team right here. I mean, that wasn't the strongest defense ever, but it wasn't a chump defense. So that's an option. Let me really quick just go throw some runes. Although my rune supply right now is really low. Um, let's see here. Go family and... Oops, why am I scrolling? It's on the first page. And assassin. So I just need to get black diamond... And Arya, let's throw just some quick attack stuff. Um, gain festive. Throw some enablers. There we go. Uh, enabler, enabler. This is definitely not going to be the the purest, best runing. In the entire world. We'll give a burning shield piercing, that's fine. We'll give God, I'm down to like no friggin' runes, literally. Alright, we'll go. I guess we'll go with the foresight. And I went with an evasion, evade or an enabler enabler. I just need to find another enabler and we are set. That'll be good. All right. So there is Arya. Arya is also going to provide some damage mitigation as well. And blue or black diamond. Just throw some attack runes on her. Um, ba -ba -ba. Go with a couple of enablers on her. I don't have too many yellow enablers. There we go. There should be another red one here. All I've got is a single life rune. And... Go with... Go with the... She's going to... Uh, no, she won't start with evasion. All right, so we'll just give her an evasion room. All right. Assassins. We will try that against this. She'll hit, but that'll be okay. All right, well, let's see here. So we are going to want to... All right, so we absolutely need Wukong, we need Arya, we need Black Diamond. Who is the fourth going to be? We'll make it Jin. So Black Diamond, Wukong, Arya, and Jin. All of them will be considered assassins because of Black Diamond. I'm giving them martial artist. This could prove interesting. A lot more aggressive than some of the other teams that I was running. Alrighty, let's get started. Ideally, I would add, uh, how did she, uh, 
whatever. Um, everybody's flying. Let's give everybody some monkey business. He's got a clone of himself. Places are blocking himself. Ugh. Bad RNG here. Uh, I should be able to kill her. Nope. <laughs> Jim Lee going all the way. Alright, well, we're gonna die here. Oh, no. Holy Moses. Alright. Alright, we'll try one more like this, and then I'm going to swap in Lorelei for one of them, and then we're going to end the video. Three more battles. Do one more like this, and then two with a different hero than Jin, and that will be that. You can tell I actually enjoy this hero because I'm doing a lot more PvP on the, on the Spotlight video. It's going to be a little longer than a lot of these other videos, but it's going to be... This, I mean, this hero is fun. They, they really need to fix it so Null Magic doesn't affect some of the stuff and so the Doom doesn't screw over Beast completely. All right. She made them flying. I'm actually going to give an increased chance to dodge. And they do retaliations on dodges then, which is great with this team. That's another thing to think about with uh, Wukong and Assassins. This is actually working out pretty darn well. We're gonna do damage buff against shocked heroes. Although it won't matter. Buff. Uh, well, it was going really well. Alright, now we will try swapping out. Swap out him. I guess the best path. Well, could do do Sifu. Try one battle with Sifu, one battle with Lorelei. Sifu is also going to then give this entire team shield piercing on basic attacks. Let me do my AOE attack. Shouldn't matter where I click on. Alright, he can soak that up. No, he can't. Uh, we're going to make dodge chance. helpful except they're all going to come back because dragons okay so I still got monkey business try to kill Nivius of course not anywho dragons are so boring Hashtag down with dragons. Alright, and I will try one with um, Lorelei. And I'm 
going to make Black Diamond go after Lorelock. This would be where having, and I don't think mine is, is attack, I think mine is like a mix. But this would be a team that would be great with an attack Lorelei. Arya dying. Of course, they've got Lorelei out there. This actually does a good bit of damage. Yeah, there you go. All right, we are gonna Magic Prism Monkey King. And try to kill Nivea skin. Not enough. Nivea just has too much friggin' defense. Notice that uh, I do have the vampire and the healer rune on him, so he was able to heal back up to full after that big attack. Monkey business getting in the way. I think if I reroon him at some point in the future, he's going to be friggin' impressive. Such a good attack. Damn it. Yeah, I mean, just changing, tweaking the way he's ruined. God, he's just going to be so much fun. But anyhow, let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. I would really appreciate it if you'd leave a thumbs up. Um, let me know what you think of the hero. If you've played around with him yet. If you love him, hate him, whatever. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.